Hello, welcome to BioGrid TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Saleh Kebzabo Saleh Kebzabo was born on the 27th of March 1947 in Leri, Chad. He is a Chadian politician and has been the president of the National Union for Democracy and Renewal UNDR, and a deputy in the National Assembly of Chad. He is a journalist who worked as a director at the Chadian Press Agency, served as a member of the Democratic Movement for the Restoration of Chad MDRT, and was also a journalist at Jeune Afrique and the Mine L'Afrique. Founded in 1960, Jeune Afrique is a French-language Pan-African weekly news magazine that began in Tunis and subsequently published in Paris. He is also the founder of N'Djamena Hebdo, Chad's first independent newspaper. Kebzabo was a consul in Douala, Cameroon, but President Paul Bia, the country's president, expelled him from the country owing to his support for Amadou Ahijo, Bia's predecessor. Being one of the founding members of the UNDR political party established in 1992, Kebzabo in April 1993 was appointed as Minister of Trade and Industry in the government of Prime Minister Fidel Munga. This came after the Sovereign National Conference. Well, the Munga-led administration lasted only six months before the Higher Transitional Council approved a censure motion against it. In September 1995, Kebzabo was accused of working with rebels. This led to his arrest and five-day detainment. On the night of the 30th of August before the arrest, his home was searched without a warrant. Kebzabo was eventually released after the opposition protested his detention. He then filed a suit against the officials who were responsible for the incident. Not letting his persecution set him back, Kebzabo became a candidate in the June 1996 presidential election, coming third with 8.61% of the vote. In the second round of the election, he lost to Idris Deby, who had been president since 1990. He then became Minister of Foreign Affairs in August 1996. Kebzabo served in the position of Foreign Affairs until the 21st of May 1997, when he was appointed Minister of State for Public Works, Transportation, Housing and Urban Development. He kept progressing in his leadership career and by the first round of the 1997 parliamentary election, he was elected to the National Assembly as a UNDR candidate. He declined the position. There was a cabinet reshuffle on the 1st of January 1998 and Kebzabo became Minister of State for Mines and Energy. Unfortunately for him, he was dismissed from the government on the 11th of May 1998 along with two other UNDR ministers. When he spoke about his dismissal, he said that he could achieve his goal outside of the government, appearing unmoved. Later in December 1999, he was appointed Minister of State for Agriculture in the government of Prime Minister Nagum Yamasun. On the 1st of April 2001, Kebzabo was again nominated as the UNDR's presidential candidate for that year's election. Seven days after, he lost his seat as Minister of State for Agriculture alongside some other UNDR members in the government. Kebzabo eventually ran in the presidential election held on the 20th of May 2001. And as it was in 1996, so it became as he came third again with 7% of the vote. That same month, the police detained him and five other opposition candidates. About a year later, in the April 2002 parliamentary election, Kebzabo was elected to the National Assembly as a UNDP candidate from Leri constituency in Mayodala department 
and he became president of the Democratic Parliamentary Group during the parliamentary term that followed the election. He narrated on the 3rd of February 2008 that during a battle between government forces and rebels in N'Djamena, soldiers were in his home to arrest him just when he was about to travel. Kebzabo said that they fired at his brother. What have we missed out of this biography of Kebzabu? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.